Happy Thursday, everybody. I am back today with my little Emerson Jewel, whom I call Emmy, and she is going to have her first uh, changing since I've got her. Also, her very first theme Thursday, and we're really excited, aren't we, Emmy? Well, she's actually a little unsure. That's why she's got her passy in her mouth. <laughs> She's not quite sure about all the lights and the goings on and everything. But I am going to get her ready for her first theme Thursday. And we are going to be doing black and white and red all over. And I have bought this little outfit at the um, Dolls of the World Expo. It's a little Kate Quinn outfit. And it is white and has these little black witches hats all over it it's a footless one piece uh romper and then it has a cute little skirt in the same um pattern of the uh, white with the black witches hats and it has little under um knickers to it and we're going to be uh, pairing that with these red shoes that are these little ankle strap shoes. They're like little espadrilles. And they have a little um, ruffle there on the top in uh, red lace-like stuff. Red bows in her hair. And red bows on the ends of her um, hair bands. And uh, so since this is the first time I've changed her. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm not really totally uh, confident of what size she wears now the outfit she has on says three to six months but her my other little Huxley that I have Shelby she's wearing an outfit that's a zero to three so um she would probably be more comfortable in three to six but this outfit is zero to three and we're going to see if it fits and while I do that um, while I change her, I'm going to be doing uh, Gail um, from Susie Q's Happy Little Haven. Her um, Colors of Fall tag. Um, <clears throat> thank you so much for all of the um, comments that you've given me on the babies that I've been showing you. Let me have your dolly, darling. Let's have your little dolly. There you go. Oh, God, my sweetheart. Oh, goodness, she's such a cuddle bunny. Um, I appreciate all the comments, and uh, I I had answered them all last night. Well, where'd your passy go? Oh, you step, you speed it out. He don't want it, Mama. I don't want it. Let's see if you're seeing her. Okay. Um. So I had answered all of them last night, and I haven't checked them today. Um. But for those who had responded yesterday, I thank you very much. And if you have responded since then. You got fuzz in your shoe. Got fuzz in your shoe. Um, I will be getting to those today. So we're going to undress this little pumpkin for the very first time. I cannot believe that I've had these babies, all of the ones I've shown you, since um, September. And I have not yet undressed any of them. But we are hoping that things are going to be changing that I'm going to have a little bit more time to spend in the nursery and with you guys and hopefully changing um, more of the babies and um, getting a little bit more involved. <laughs> She's so darn cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at her painting. See, I'm seeing it for the first time, guys, because I told you I have not... I have not undressed them all yet. Uh, I know it's shameful, but oh my goodness. Now see, this dress is, looks a little big on her. So that's why I'm hoping the zero to three is going to fit her. Now for those of you out there who have Huxley's, you'll have to tell me what you dress your babies in. Well, I will see with this outfit. If it's too little or too tight on her, then I will know to stick with the three to six months. Now, she's a pretty big little girl, but she doesn't look 
except for the chunks on her legs. She got some chunky legs, beautiful feet. Um, she doesn't look that much bigger than, um, let's say, uh, Leslie Carroll. And Leslie Carroll wears zero to three months. And her middle's not really stuffed real thick and tight. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so while I'm doing this, let me turn my phone back on. Because I'm going to be doing uh, Gail's tags. Oh, and by the way, guys, I, I have been watching your videos. I haven't been commenting because while I'm watching your videos, I am busy doing something else. Um, I am doing a diamond dot painting. Well, it's not really a painting. It's a diamond dot thing. And so it's pretty tedious, and um, so while I am doing that, I am listening and watching your videos. <clears throat> but um, I can't stop to comment, but I'll try to get back and comment on them uh, if I can. Come here, darling. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going to have her dress. I hadn't started yet. All right, so the colors of fall. Oh, and I am also wearing, I don't know if y'all can see. Can you see? This is my shirt. I'm wearing black and white and red all over. That's my little chicken. Can you see my chicken? I said, y'all ain't right. <laughs> but it's got little, uh, it's red all over with white polka dots. And then it's the chicken and the writing has got black in it. Okay, enough of that. So, what are your favorite fall colors to dress your reborns in? All of them. All of them. I love all colors, and um, I will go um, with the mustards and the golds and the oranges and the browns and the reds. Um, I just love all of them. I really do. I can't pick out a particular favorite, although y'all know that red is my favorite color, um, and all shades of red. By that, I mean red, maroon, pink, you know, all that. Um, I love all shades of red. So I just, um, if I had to pick one, I would say, ah, I can't pick one. I like the browns and the golds and the reds and the oranges. It's just, that's all fault to me. So yeah, sorry, I like them all. Okay, number two, what is your favorite type of apple? Uh, I have two favorites. Um, my most favorite go-to one is the Honeycrisp. Um, I like it because it's kind of sweet and tart all at the same time. Now see, that is zero to three months, and that fits her fine. That fits her just fine. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Now I got to see if we can get that skirt over the little belly. Um, my go-to is the honey crisp because uh, it's kind of like a sweet tart um, and uh, very crispy crunchy lots of bite to it uh and then my next favorite would be um the jazz apples um and followed behind that with the um fujis probably in that order probably in that order um so yeah i i usually it depends on what is available at the store when i go but my go-to one is the honey crisp um, do you prefer caramel or candy apples? Um, well, I've had them both, and I love them both, but I can't eat the candied apples anymore. The candy is just too hard. Uh, so, I like the caramel apples. <laughs> I like the caramel apples, but I have a little twist to it. I like them rolled and chopped nuts. Yeah, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Now look how cute you are in that. <laughs> You're very first changing. And you can wear a zero to three, but I bet this looks a little snug around the middle. Just a little bit snug in the middle. I mean, it's not too bad. But she probably can wear either uh, a large zero to three or a uh, small three to six months. Um, so yeah, I'll go with the caramel apples rolled in nuts. Number four, do you prefer hot or iced apple cider in the fall? In the fall, I prefer it hot. I love hot apple cider. 
yummy in the tummy absolutely a little stick of cinnamon sticking in it mm, that'd be so good all right next one number five do you drive to see fall colors or enjoy them in your own backyard or neighborhood if i'm going to see fall colors i have to drive um, fall used to be my very favorite time of the year and one of the reasons were was because of the um, changing of the leaves the fall and all that when I used to live in North Georgia <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me they were um, they were just beautiful and of course in West Virginia the trees up there in the fall look like they uh, they're so vibrant they just take your breath away and uh, I did love fall for that reason but now that I live down in Texas in the south um, we don't have much of a fall here um, I live in the the piney woods area so uh, most of our um, trees are pines we do have deciduous trees and for the most part they just sort of, sort of turn brown and fall off so I miss the fall colors I really do so if I'm going to get to see any of it I have to drive somewhere um, <clears throat> Number six, daylight saving times, pro or con. Um, I would prefer that we would stick with daylight savings time. Uh, number one, especially here. And um, let's see, I'm going to have to pull her hair up a little bit. It kind of came down a little in traveling. So I'm going to loosen this. You just pull on it and loosens it up. You can take the hair out. Um, there we go. There we go. That's a little better. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, um, it just gets dark here like about five o'clock in the afternoon. And that's just way too early. Way too early. I'm telling you. Um, so I, I like it. Like in the summer, it doesn't get um dark until like nine o'clock and then in the winter it gets dark at five in the evening and that's just there's just i don't know I, I just would prefer a little bit longer light so i wish they would just make a make it daylight saving times and keep it now if we stay with daylight saving times it would probably get dark around seven there we go. That's one side. Let's get this other side. I'm gonna turn around this way. Um, so yeah, I would. I wish that they would forget the falling back and just stay with the spring forward and be done with it. Okay, number seven, pumpkin purchases. Oh man, let's get your bows out. Pumpkin patch or grocery store? Well. Uh, when my kids were little and my grandchildren, uh, being, uh, when they were little, um, we would always do the pumpkin patch. Um, well, I say that, but um, here, around here, all the churches, not all of them, but most of them, especially the Methodist churches, they, they have a, their own pumpkin patch, and they bring in just hundreds and hundreds of pumpkins and they make it up really nice and cute and you can go there to their pumpkin patch and pick out pumpkins and they have like hay bales and all that kind of stuff and scarecrows and it's really cute so those are the kind of pumpkin patches we would go to they weren't actual actual pumpkin patches um but without little kids around i just get them at the grocery store uh, number one, they don't cost as much as they do at the churches because they are going, you know, they're raising money. Um, so, there we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You are just as sweet as they come. Oh, my gosh. Y'all see her? Look at this little angel. There's Emmy. All done up in her black and white and red all over on her um Let's see. Oh, goodness. She can't see her. Can't. Okay, so there she is in her pretty little red bows and her little ponytails are all tightened up now from 
the travel and here she is in her black and white and her red shoes looking just as cute as she can be yes she is this is so cute she's looking so cute you want your baby back hmm do you want your patsy no okay she want a patsy okay now I'll let you sit and look at that little angel you want to look up at your aunties huh and look up your aunties and your uncles. There we go. And your cousins. Um, number eight. What is your favorite fall weather soup? I don't know if you call this soup. But down here in Texas, we're chili people. We like the chili. Um, and I love chili in the fall. Um, but if I were going with soup, I would have to go with French onion. Love French onion soup. Love it. Um, number nine, do you hang a fall wreath on your door? Usually not. I'm not say I never have, but usually I don't. Um, I, I don't, I don't really decorate for the changing of the seasons. I'll decorate for Christmas and Easter. Uh, and we will be decorating a little for Halloween this year, but, uh, and 4th of July, we will put up flags, and um, Memorial Day, we put up flags. But for the most part, I don't decorate for every season. Um, number 10, sweaters or hoodies for cool, crisp, outdoor fall weather. Um, I have them both. But I just absolutely love dressing up in big, bulky sweaters. <laughs> Not that I get to do it that often down here, but, uh, yeah, I love my sweaters, um, and I have tons of them. I also have hoodies, so it depends on where I'm going as to what I'm, I'm wearing. If I'm going out maybe to a, a rodeo or hiking or something like that, I'd probably wear a hoodie, but any other time, I would probably wear a sweater. Oh, my goodness. I just found a $5 bill in my shorts. <laughs> And they've been washed and, and uh, laund they've been laundered since I wore them last. And I guess, oh, I'm laundering money. Oh, yeah. You want to put your bracelet back on, baby? So, yeah, that is it. Gail, thank you so much um, for that sweet tag. That was fun. I love doing tags. And I hope that now um, I get to do more of them um, and participate more often in Theme Thursday. Now, I think I've missed a couple. But, uh, yeah. And I did not get to do all the babies this time because I just wanted to concentrate on some of the newer babies. And so, um, I was looking for an outfit and this one just happened to be zero to three months. And I thought, hmm, zero to three months. Well, I know it won't fit Bonnie, that little chub -ub. Um, it might have fit, um, Sailor, but she is also wearing a three to six months. Believe it or not, I have more three to six months babies than I do zero to three. Um, so, yeah. So, there we are. There's little Emerson Jewel, my little Emmy, all dressed up for theme Thursday. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for that wonderful tag, Fancy. I love it. And uh, I love you all. And I want to tell you about my weekend on the next video. So, be sweet. Be kind, and uh, I'll see you real soon. You're special. Bye-bye.